it says on Friday finger and toenails should be cut on the same day so will you cut your nails then today? I don't have to cut them. I bite my nails, I don't cut them. He's disgusting, he bites his nails. If you've already bitten your nails, you don't need to cut them. <laughs> There's to nothing cut to cut them. <laughs> Nobody can become a 10 minute Jew. It takes weeks and weeks and months and months of study and learning and understanding these laws. It's, it's so vastly away from your way of life that you would have no understanding of it whatsoever. I could try. Stamford Hill, London, just a few miles northeast from the heart of the capital. It's home to a devoutly religious community of around 20,000 Hasidic Jews. And it's the largest of its kind in Europe. The Hasidim live by an extraordinarily detailed set of ancient commandments that have their roots in the Torah. Stamford Hill is a bewildering blend of biblical law and modern day life. And for the next few months, it was to be my home. One of Stamford Hill's most outspoken residents is Gabby Lopp, a retired teacher who now dedicates several hours a day to learning the Torah and Jewish law. Slander, vengeance and bearing a grudge, rules concerning physical well-being, things forbidden because they are dangerous, laws concerning charity. This is a code of Jewish law. This was made by Rabbi Shlomo Gansfried. It's called the Kitzel Shalchan Oruch. And it's really just basic laws. It doesn't discuss how a law came about, from where. But these In, are the laws that you live your life by. by that's we live your life by. And they're based on the 613... 613 mitzvot, commandments. 613 commandments. commandments. And are they loosely based on, sorry, uh, the Ten Commandments? They are loosely based on the Ten Commandments. The salting of meat, eating and drinking before the regular meals, laws concerning meals. Everything is controlled. The way, uh, uh, how you go to toilet, what you, uh, uh, whether whether your toilets permitted uh, a communal toilet, would it be permitted? Is it embarrassing, or do you not have it embarrassing? Everything is in, uh, is controlled. For instance, you're not allowed to if, if you well, I'm excuse my English, but you're not allowed to fart with tefillin with the phylacteries on your head. The laws of circumcision, the redemption of the firstborn, the training of children, a male will not put on a woman's garment and vice versa, laws concerning new crops, the separation of challah, first portion of the dough. And how much of your life have you dedicated to studying these, these laws? Most of it. My wife's coming in. Oh. Yeah, one of the people asked me, the she's coming down? in, stop it, we can stop and wait a minute. Will she, hello? Will she not want to be in the... No, she doesn't mind, she oh, doesn't mind. Can no. I say hello? Yeah. Sit down, sit down. Oh, sorry, I'm not sure I should shake no, hands. No, no, right. Now you've done it already, it's too late. Not sure. done <laughs> now the harm is done. No. You see, you can't, you can't always. It's, it's not, it's, it, it doesn't, it, it, it's the intent. What? Oh. You see, some people think that shaking hands is a patch of terrible thing, but it's not really the actual shaking hands, it's the intent. I'm sorry, so, so, I, but I shouldn't, in, 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 in Hasidic life, the man, I, I shouldn't shake hands with a woman, is that right? No, they, they, they shouldn't have any physical contact. Physical, no contact. physical contact. I'm very Don't sorry. Worry, I'll forgive you, how should you know? Do you think, this is the first time we've done some filming, and we're going to be filming for a few months in the area. Do you think you'd be able to kind of guide us around the area? No. Why, why not? Because everybody's very, very secretive. Because they always think about the children they have to marry off. What will harm their name? Oh. oh. Well, that's not important. And we haven't got that problem anymore. We've got two children, they're married. And blow it all! We just yeah. say what we like. Especially my husband. One of the most important commandments of all is to get married. And most Hasidic people marry young, at around 19 or 20. Can I ask a question? If it's too personal yeah, to yeah, say, yeah, but yeah, yeah. you've been married... Um, 40 years. Wow. What did you feel that you were you you felt and you felt compatibility? I don't know. I don't know what it was. I have no idea. I was twenty four, uh, twenty four and a half, was and an I old boy. and I, yeah, I was before then, and I didn't really want to get married. 
I'm scared of him. Really? Yeah. I was pretty scared. <laughs> Living in Stamford Hill, it's not unusual to be invited to as many as a hundred weddings a year. Later that week, Gabby and Tikwa were invited to a wedding by an old friend from the neighbourhood, and to my surprise, he was happy for me to come along too. What's your name? My name is Avi Bressler. Right. I live in Stamford Hill. I came here 21 years ago. I got married uh, to an Israeli girl who came here a few years before me. Okay. And uh, we have five children. Today is the day that my oldest is getting married. Okay. Mm -hmm. And how old is he? He's 20. How do you feel about him getting married? Very excited. Really? Yes. She's the grandmother. She's my wife's mother. Hello. Hello. That's my mother from Israel came. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. Mazel Tov. She should be able to come. It's Hebrew. It's Hebrew. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. She wish you should be able to come to lots of simchas, lots of chas and lots of weddings, and uh, okay. be happy. <laughs> My brother-in-law from Israel. Hello. Hello. Mazal tov. Mazal tov. Mazal tov. My first Hasidic wedding. <laughs> Avi's son, Ichi Maya, is 20 and works at his father's grocery shop. He met his bride six months ago, working behind the till. But in accordance with Jewish law, they've avoided all physical contact. Some of them are praying now, the second prayer of the day. Will you do that as well? You yes, I'm going to join them now. Enjoy your cigarette. <laughs> yes, that's right, yes, of course. <laughs> Pressure. <laughs> Pressure. Yes. Oh, man. After the ceremony, Avi had put on a big meal for all his guests. The hall was divided into two because under Jewish law, men and women are forbidden from mixing at public events, even for the dancing. There's nothing in this entire world bigger and greater and more enjoying than a real Jewish heartful simcha. Simcha means a wedding. You can feel it in the spirit, in the in the air. How much people are loving and I feel it. Like feel, feel it also. I feel it. I'd anticipated something more serious, more somber, from such devoutly religious people. This wasn't what I'd expected at all. I cannot stand up. I drank too much. Get careful. My head is <laughs> As the night went on, Gabby seemed to withdraw a little. What did he make of the party and its host? 
Avi Presley. That's right. I didn't enjoy it. Why not? It's so queer. It's it's people from Yemen. They come from a total different background. And people from Eastern Europe. It's just... It was queer. <laughs> I saw Mr. Bressler this morning. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> I said, oh, is the young couple happy? Yes, thank God, yes. I said, that's the main thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, He's a really nice guy. Abby. He's sweet. Made a bit of a mess of his life. What can you do? Did you find it, it moving, the, 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 the wedding? Did you I, I don't get emotionally involved. I liked it very much when I, I saw them, the other people happy. But I'm not really, I, I, I look at happiness completely as a different thing. It's an inside thing of happiness. Happiness is not something just when you dance around like a nutcase, that's not happiness. And there was a bit, uh, in my eyes, a bit wild dancing and some people expressed their happiness. And I was very pleased for Avi that he's married off his child because he, he sees a future with and I hope the marriage is a successful one. But in their marriage, they have to understand. Sorry. Sorry's no good. You've done it, you've ruined it. What did she do? She put on the machine while I was talking. How can anybody hear what I'm saying? You were in mid flow, Gabby. Yes. Let's go back in. Marriage is like God, that's what God's aim is on this world. Two different people get together and try to build a life. The idea is to make one person of them. The more one you make out of your unity of marriage, the more one you are and the more love there is. And that's what real love is about. Love is not about, when, I, when, when you get married first, you love yourself. But then you learn that love is not loving yourself. Loving your partner is be, loving your partner and being in love has nothing to do with a physical. Uh, it's a spiritual connection which you feel nearer to each other. It's also practiced through physical, but it is mostly a spiritual connection. Do you not have lunch together? I eat when I, I feel hungry. I don't eat every day exactly the same time. That's why you're fat. What? That's why he's fat. Because he goes for sweet things. He eats too many sweet things? Yeah. And he doesn't eat at the right time? I make him salads. come? What shall I do? I eat whatever's there. I don't. Uh, uh, food is not my life. Let me say, oh, no, I'm like, what am I going to have tonight? What am I going to have supper? What's there? I eat them when I'm hungry. I'm not hungry. Tell I'm hungry. I'm not hungry. I don't eat. If my body tells me it's hungry, then I eat. I don't have to have three meals a day because somebody has decided breakfast and supper. 